what's going on YouTube I am back with another video and today I'm gonna be doing something a little different something I haven't done in quite a while and that's gonna be going through my top five cards uh, very and I mean very different than uh, the past lots of things have changed in the collection but uh, I think you guys are gonna like what I have so Stay tuned, and I'm going to get into number five, and uh, there should be a couple new additions and some cards you guys haven't even seen before, so I'll see you in a moment. Coming in at number five, I've got two cards. Honestly, this is the only position on the list where I really didn't know what to pick. I could have picked one thing or the other. There's even other cards that I could have had that I didn't throw in. This is the only one I guess... I'm going to call PC, like only, not really on value. For example, one of the two cards I put up for number five was an Antonio Gates uh, from Select Patch, number to five. Um, I forget if this is called like a green, green blocks. I have no idea. But that one right there, that's probably like a 40 some odd dollar card, but I used to love using him in Madden, so that card's special to me. And then... I got here a Blaze Jordan uh, first Bowman card. I think he's going to be really good. Um, got this signed in person. Met him. Really cool dude. Got a few cards signed. One for my sister. I think uh, I got a team card somewhere else signed by him. Also met Marcelo Mayer, but I only got him on a team card at that time. So, yeah, um, that is number five. The rest of them will obviously be in uh, an order of value, you know, increasing as we get closer to number one. So, all right, let's get on to number four. At number four, we have my Mike Tyson uh, Leaf Pro Set Action Ink Auto, number two of 35. Uh, if I can get it, you might be able to see that. But two of 35, Mike Tyson Auto, really cool card. Um, actually, this one is up on eBay. It's probably about a hundred or some odd dollar card. Um, and I've gotten close offers to around 100. I have it up at 130 or best offer. But a, just a really cool card in general. Um, not one that I'm like dying to keep or anything like that. But still, nonetheless, a very cool card. Very happy to have it. Um, and that's why it makes its way onto the list. So let's get on to number three. At number three, and the only card on this list, I guess you could say, I pulled. Um, I pulled a lot of amazing cards over the years, but um, this one definitely hit different because, for one, um, so this is from uh, Road to uh, Opening Day, which comes out around February, March of every year on Topps' website. Um, they offer an autograph set, and I think I had, this is from 2021, I think right i gotta look uh yes um but i had a discount um on the website and i decided to use it and get the autograph set you could get steven strasberg who would have been cool personally um juan soto or luis garcia so obviously i got a good one and it, i got one number to 49 13 of 49 at that a clean signature um i opened up the uh autograph pack um because it comes separately later uh the autograph itself and it's random um so it really is kind of a gamble um it was like 75 bucks and i think i got it for like 50 uh with a discount on tops.com but i opened it up on facetime with my dad so he got to see me pull it um so pretty special to me not to mention obviously he won a world series with my favorite team the washington nationals doesn't mean i don't have a soft spot for the orioles or other teams but nationals have always been my hometown team so yeah um it was really awesome to get this and yeah it's probably worth about i'd say around 140 dollars or so so makes its way in at number three at number two we have the newest addition to my collection and a really cool one at that. I got it right after graduation, just as a little gift to myself. It is a, and I'll explain why it's so cool to me. It is a Steven Strasberg, Mike Trout dual autograph booklet from 2013. I think like Panini, uh, pastime baseball, it says. Um, so anyways, it's Superstar Scripts is what it's called. It's not in the best of shape, but it's numbered out of three, three of three right there. Um, 
why this is so significant is when I was like 11 or 12 years old, really early on in the hobby for me, in my experience, Steven Strasburg was my favorite player. Um, I loved watching him pitch and just a really cool uh, athlete overall to watch. And then in recent years, you guys know that I've grown to be a big fan of Mike Trout, also kind of a card collector, I believe, these days. Um, one of his early autos inscribed in the number 27. Strasburg also put 37. Uh, World Series, um, yeah, I believe World Series MVP. Um, Mike Trout, obviously MVP and just breaking records left and right. So really an amazing card. Uh, I got this for around just under $300, and I think I got it at a really good price. I think it should be worth around four to $500, but nonetheless, this one would be tough to move. I really like this card a lot. It is a booklet, but I love this card. Funny enough, I remember back in the heat of the pandemic, um, I almost bought this card. I almost pulled the trigger, and I remember receiving an offer for like $650 or something like that. I'll throw up a picture. Um, but point is, I passed on that, and um, I haven't seen one since, and then I saw it on eBay recently. The timing was right, so I grabbed it. So an awesome, awesome card. Very happy to have this in the collection at number two. And yeah, let's move on to number one. I think you guys might know if you've watched any of my videos recently what it's going to be. Coming in at number one is going to be my Jackie Robinson 1956 Tops uh, Grayback um, in a PSA 2. Uh, honestly, prevent, excuse me, presents better than a lot of twos that are out there. You can see that image is very sharp, not too faded if at all. Um, let me show the back. It's, it's actually interesting to read the backs of some of the older cards on Legends. Um, but a super, super awesome card. I'm very happy to have it. I got it at the National this past summer uh, in Atlantic City. Um, I had the deal already worked out before I even got there and saw the card and so I was exactly the way it was presented before I got to the national. So picked it up, did a trade and cash, and uh, yeah. So this is worth probably anywhere from four to five hundred dollars. Um, it varies, especially um, with vintage. It just kind of varies on the image, and I mean, is there a fat crease through this? You know, it just depends. Um, but very happy to have this in my collection, and we'll finish up here in a moment. All right, guys, so that'll do it. That is my top five cards as of right now. It'll obviously get better and stronger as time goes on, especially because I just graduated from college, so I'll have a little more money um, at certain times so I can get some awesome cards. I've got goals to pick up certain ones, like I'd love to get a LeBron and a Tom Brady rookie, um, get another Trout rookie in the collection. Um, so yeah, that is the top five cards, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.